Hi, my name is Richard, and last summer, me and two school friends sent a high-altitude helium-filled weather balloon into the stratosphere. We were able to get £500 in funding from the Mark Everson Foundation to do this. What you are seeing now is us setting up our latex weather balloon for its flight. After we filled it up with helium, we attached a milk bottle to the bottom of it. The milk bottle was at the right weight so that when, we, when the balloon could lift the milk bottle it had enough gas inside to lift our lighter payload into the stratosphere. We then untied the milk bottle and attached the payload. Our payload consisted of a small action camera, a satellite GPS and a battery pack inside a polystyrene box for insulation. We taped our contact details to the bottom of the payload so that if our GPS failed or if it was found by someone else before us, we could still retrieve the footage. There was 10 metres of braided nylon cord from the payload to the parachute and another 5 metres from the parachute to the balloon. Next we began to unravel the cord and eventually let go. We stuck a small picture of ourselves to the front of the payload so that we were in frame of the camera to give the illusion that we were in space. We had to use an online calculator to get an approximate location of where the balloon would land and we chose this particular day for our launch because it would land within a reasonable distance to drive. The plan was to follow the payload's 5 minute location updates live in a car until we eventually retrieve the payload. To undertake this project, we had to get legal permission to launch from the UK Civil Aviation Authority to ensure that any aircraft in the region were aware of our project. Here are some footage at the peak altitude of approximately 30 kilometers or 100,000 feet in the stratosphere. It took about 90 minutes for our balloon to rise to this altitude and soon the balloon burst and commenced its descent. Once it started to crash back down to the earth, the parachute deployed and it took another 90 minutes for it to land. After about three hours of driving, we eventually recovered our payload, which had landed 70 kilometers east of our launch site. Here is it landing. Luckily our payload landed a few metres from a public footpath cutting for a farmer's field, so we were easily able to recover the footage.